nightmare that video was. Oh. Settings on the camera were for um, indoors when I was like doing a review and I never changed them back to outside and it make it does make a difference as you as you heard. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about it. It's nice scenery. This is always worrying. We're out in the Cheviots again. And we are headed, we've come we've come from right down there. All the way along past them cows there. Up and then up this bit. And then we're going up there. We're gonna get an Easter tour and see how we feel. If we wanna go on we will. If not, we'll stay at Easter Tor. Yeah, that's Yever and Bell there. Come on there a few times. So that's it, I well we'll uh we'll push on because it's really really hot today. I mean we've got a right lather on. It's about 25, 26 degrees already. That's just burning, that sun's burning. Hopefully get some stars tonight. Um we're gonna try and pitch without the cover on the tent, so just the mesh. See how that goes. We'll just see how it goes. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Hot? Very. Broston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, man. Just keep hydrated. All right, we're gonna go up that way next. Hard this way. The heat. We've got a breeze, a nice breeze coming behind us, so. So that's helping. Oh, but it's still really hot. So we're gonna go along here and then up that way. I think we're just gonna to go to Easter tours because the time's cracking on. It's like five o'clock now. I might just stop at Easter, which I always wanted to camp on. I camped on it once, but I dropped right off it because the weather was terrible. So I came right off it. So I never actually camped on the top. Let's see. We'll see. For now though, look at these rolling hills. It's got miles. Never seen a soul either. We're gonna go on the Easter tour because we're absolutely exhausted with the heat. It's too hot for this sort of bizarre behaviour. So we'll go to Easter where I always wanted to come because it's, uh, it was quite good on the top of there but I had to come off the top due to the weather. Plus it was October when I went. So it was pitch black by the time we got there. So, that's Easter Tor there. We've just seen the Cheviot goats. They're over there somewhere. They've vanished, haven't they? Uh -huh. Yeah, the goats were over there. There's a few sheep there. It's funny how they mingle, isn't it? Sheep and goats. I suppose it's all the same. There's Yever and Bell. See how it's got the, the stone running around it. Bronze Age Fort. Or Iron Age Hill Fort, whatever it was. Or was it the Romans? Iron Age? I don't know. Iron Age rings a bell. Iron Age Hill Fort. Yeah, so we're going to go on Easter Tor. And it's not named after the um, the Pagan Festival. Because the other one's called West Tor. So that's just Tors. This is Newton Tors. The whole area is Newton Tors. But you've got the east side and the west side. So I'll throw that in. Just in case you were thinking, where's Christmas Tor? There is not one. Well, we're at the top of Easter Tours. That's where we were going to go. It's too hot, man. Can't be asked. Time's cracking on as well. We just want to get pitched, get the beer on, and get cooking, cooking the tea. Plus, it's a bit windy now. It's a bit breezy now. Too much, maybe. Never stop complaining. But this is the top, anyway. Off, we've come off the uh, off the top because it's unbelievably too windy. 
It's wild, wild up there. So we've dropped down. I've camped here before, just off the top. And uh, we're in this. And we're not even gonna bother with the, the cover, the fly sheet. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's unreal inside, it's no, you can feel a little bit of a breeze, but it's not, it, it's weird, isn't it? It's hard to explain. It's not like it is outside. It's really, really calm. <laughs> I can't work it out. I've got the ultra light. Dan's got a quilt, mountain equipment, just the quilt. Probably not even need that. That's the backup sleeping bag, just in case it does get a bit too cold. I've got this wrap, this is the new summer bag. Solar. Solar Eco 2 from Rab. Nice little bag. That's it. Oh we've got a couple of steaks up there, all these beers. We've got the same old, same old from the last from the usual. I carried two, four, six, I carried eight cans and I also carried all these. I carried all them as well. No wonder I'm naked. Two, four, six, eight in there as well. That's why my back's hurting. <laughs> but yeah, it's alright. It wasn't too far. But look at that tent. So it's so windy, but look at it. When you think about it, there's nothing really to move, is there? There's no, um, there's no fly sheet on it to catch the wind. The wind's just going straight through it, so it's not budging. And the rain isn't forecast tonight. It's forecast lovely sunshine all evening. So we'll take that. This is the view over there. West side of Sunny Down over there somewhere. You got the east coast. Yiver and Bell. Um, we came we came up from down there. Two and a bit miles. There's a big river down there as well. Oh, speaking of rivers, tomorrow we're going to go on the paddle boards. So stick a bit of that in. Uh, hopefully get a good, a good nice river paddle done. Don't walk with somewhere. Right, we're just gonna, I'm going to have a beer now, like, and then we'll get the tea on. Yeah. Here we go again then, with the uh, the old steak, rump steak. We've got crispy potato slices. I've got no idea how I'm going to cook them. Let's fry them. Asparagus, because it's in season. And then we've got a box with mushrooms and tomatoes, garlic, and lots of garlic butter. So this should be nice. We haven't got a um, peppercorn sauce because it's it's been a mistake. There's been a mistake made with the peppercorn sauce. Um, it ended up being cheese sauce. And Leanne doesn't like the cheese. So that's, that's, that's the reason why. But we have got, if I can work out how to open it, some sort of, how does it come out? Ah, oh, it doesn't come out because it's, uh, it's whole grain. It's you could have taken it out and spread it. Down. Right. It's too thick to come out, it's too it's coarse. It no, it's too coarse, the pepper. But anyway, salt and pepper. I'll we'll just do that. Right, we'll come back. So we're just browning this off, searing it. We'll cut all the tomatoes and the uh, mushrooms up. Chuck some garlic butter in. Yeah. It's burning nicely. It's not burning, but brown enough. I'm going to turn that down in a minute. And then, I don't know how I'm going to cook them. Crispy potato slices. So there we are. The potatoes are in. Keep them moving so they don't stick. Nice. The garlic butter heated up and uh, just threw them in. Good heat, high heat. 
try and get them crisped up a bit if I can. There's no guarantees in this game. <laughs> this is not going to be the greatest, but you know, it's something different. Alright, so we've got the, uh, the chips done, crisps, whatever they are, whatever they turn out. Just throwing the garlic butter in for these. There's a chopped up garlic clove in there as well. A lot of garlic going on. It'll keep the midges off anyway. So just let that sweat a bit. It doesn't take long to cook that asparagus. Mushrooms. That's it. Second beer. Eternal sunshine, which is what we're having today. Definitely. There we go then. So under there is a steak, big steak. What's it like? I don't know, I haven't tasted it yet. Is it cutting alright? Mm -hmm. And you've got asparagus, mushrooms and tomatoes in and some uh, chipped potatoes which have come out lovely. And loads of garlic and salt and pepper. So we're going to polish this off right and then get on the beers. And then just sit and watch the sun go down. Beosh. Skin of a snack. Let's belt out of that. As long as it's just the skin. How windy it is. Oh. Right, we're just gonna sit here and chill now. Thought that food was nice, like. Had better, but it was alright. Gonna sit here, a few beers, get the heart gathered around the tent. So hope we get a nice sunset. There's not much comedy the night like, but um what we're going to do is put the camera out for a night lapse and the schedule is if the cloud stays away there's the Perseids meteor shower so hoping so far it's a clear night there's no cloud coming over so we'll make it a nice meteor shower so I'm going to put the camera out um, I've had to I've had to knock the the madness on the head because the last time we put a, a video out and there was music in the background, I got a copyright strike. It wasn't a it wasn't a strike, it was just a warning, you know what I mean? I couldn't monetize the video, so ah, oh, it was mad and it was muted in some countries as well. So I'm I'm wary of that now. That's a bit of a nightmare. So we have had a good night, like we've been partying and that, but I'm gonna put the camera out for a, a night lapse and see if I've got the settings right. And I don't know, see if we'll get the, the meteor shower. That's why we've got the mesh. So we can just lie and look at the meteors. And the wind's gone. The wind's gone. So it's going to be nice. We'll do it. We'll definitely do it. Right. Catch us later. Or if there's no night lapse, then it wasn't very good. <laughs> Land. It's time for a cup of tea. Slept really well. There was a slight breeze came in the middle of the night, which like cooled us down, but it wasn't uh, uncomfortable. 
mint that like if your weather forecast is predicted to be dry that's the that's the thing to use like it's really good there's a massive cloud bank on the coast like a fog bank and it's headed this way I'm not sure I don't think it will come any further in but we are going to go paddle boarding down walk with which is in amongst all that it's going to be a foggy one and that's right over there as well I don't think it's inversion I think it's a fog bank it's because of the weather it's going to change isn't it Oh, right, well, we'll get this on. Having a, um, a little coffee pot. A little coffee pod. Put the, put the white one in first. Make a little, little paste and then we'll just top it up with. Fill that with water, put that in. Oh, oh. didn't take long, did it? Right, so on we go. Right. Yep, back on, I've said that bit. Done that bit. This is the end. So, good camp? Very good. Good little spot, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's lovely. I've camped here before, like I said. I might put a link to that video in the description because uh, that was a completely different scenario. I was getting battered. <laughs> so we're all packed away, I eh? Just left a bit of frost grass. Actually, when we found it, it was flat, wasn't it? So I think somebody's camped here before. Oh, and we found a pair of sunglasses as well. So if they're your sunglasses, next, tell us the colour. I've got them in my bag. Ah, uh, we've got them. So I can post them to you. You can see my email address in the description as well. So I'll get your sunglasses back to you because they're quite nice, weren't they? Right, so all done. We're going to go on a little paddle board now. Hopefully um, in that big bank of fog there. <laughs> so, mm, spoiled it a bit, but you know, I mean, we did it in the rain last time, so that will not matter. Right, just have one last look out there. Nice view, like, amazing views. Well, till that cloud came, like, ruined it. Here we are then, ready to go. Paddles at the ready. We're gonna go, we couldn't get to walk with, couldn't get parked, so we're back on the, the river. But we know we know this river well. Go through there, there's a lot of people about. So here we go. So basically, that's it. You can see the riverbank from a different view, a different angle. Just make sure you don't go into it. <laughs> bear with us, bear with us. We're getting, we're getting caught in there. You know, just paddle it around. One handed, it's hard one handed, like. I'll come back when we're standing up. We'll get up, we'll get out the shallow bit and then we'll get up. Mint! <laughs> and what a day for it.
And I've seen them. A few little limbs. shallow bit because of the fin on the bottom you have to uh, bite the bullet and get in and just drag it drag it over the shallows and then just get back on okay, lift it up by the back the problem with river and um, paddling there's a lot of shallow bits but then it suddenly goes dead deep back under these trees good fun like really good fun I still recommend trying to film when you're paddling it's, it's difficult I need a chest mount which I've got. Well, should I say, I need to find my chest mount. Right, back in the deeper water here. Oh, bottom's slippy. You need aqua shoes as well. That's a top tip, get aqua shoes. For the bottom, the rocks and that. Save your feet. I don't like the way it goes off, you can't see what's going on. Oh, sorry. Just touch the screen, it'll come back on. Oh, yeah. Waiting for him to fall off, really. Bit of paddleboard in there. What a lovely day! What a lovely place. We'll come here through the week and we'll just have a bit of poodle around. There's, you've got to watch out for the shallows. You've got to get off it when it's shallow like that because you've got that fin on the back which will drag. There's a few shallows coming up, but if you bear with the shallows, we had a big long stretch there where there was just no paddle, uh, no shallow bits at all. Just paddle all the way, wasn't it? Mint. Had a good one then? Right, so that's that for this week. I hope the sound's better on this. Um, 
I might be out next week. I'm planning on being out, see what the weather's doing. So we'll see you then. Enough of that.